Thanks. And having a lovely time. Tyler's here. Yeah. Why are you still wearing this? Still Can wearing you just stop going on to me about anyway, Crocs? Anyway, moving on. I'll right. send you a pair. You've got, I don't want them. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've got some news on Rihanna this morning, haven't you? Yeah, because apparently um, she's welcomed her second child with ASAP Rocky. Aww. Yeah, apparently it's just, it's just happened. Um, 3rd of August in Los Angeles. We don't know the name yet, um, but apparently it, it, the first name begins with an R. That's what everybody's speculating about. Um, uh, obviously, she is, it was her second pregnancy. Um, and she performed at the halftime Super Bowl show, oh, and that's amazing. where well, that's where it was like revealed. It was an app. Yes, like I'm thinking like living being that baby, looking back at baby photo, photos and videos <laughs> and stuff, yeah. and then seeing the halftime show and be like, I was literally in my mum's. That's where I was. Yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. Very um, Now, one Strictly star mm -hmm. is set to make history this year. Tell yeah. us about that. So Leighton Williams, West End star as well. He is um, going to be the first male contestant to hit the dance floor in a dress. And that is, I mean, costume on the show is amazing anyway. This is just taking it to another level. Everybody's so, so supportive. He's still going to dance in male outfits as well. But he said, like, when he, when he joined the show, he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really keen. This is something I want to do. He's also requested a male partner. That's happened before with, with, with just, rem just remind people where John. we will have seen him before and how, why, why he's on the show, what, why he's famous, because so, not everybody will necessarily know the name straight away. Yeah, so Leighton Williams, he's done some bits in the West End, which yes, is great. So he's, you know, performance at his yeah. heart, but... This is the thing, when it comes to a show like Strictly, it doesn't matter what your experience is before. Learning Latin Ballroom, you'd know, Learning Latin Ballroom is, is like a completely different ball game. Like, it, everything goes out the window. Yeah. It's another world. Um, and it's still so, so difficult, but he's, he's going to bring... welcome to that dress. It... Oh, actually, no, it's in my wardrobe. Yeah. <laughs> and that is the one dress I was allowed to take. You're not allowed to take anything from Strictly, but they gave me that one. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I can't wait to see that. I think that'll be really phenomenal, actually, yeah. to see to see him on the show yeah, wearing best of luck. very and different costumes to what we it's expect. It'll be really good. Um, now, Justin Timberlake yeah. uh, has got a new film out. You're a big fan of Justin Timberlake, aren't you? Oh, I love Justin Timberlake. No, but you know what his nickname is, which you know... Huh? No, I can't say it, can I? Can't, it's a what is it? <laughs> no, I can't. Is no, I'm not saying it. One. It's the summer holidays kids are watching. No. Okay. Justin Timberlake is in a new film, Tyler. Do you want some water? Are you yes, right? sir. He's, fine. He's back. The official trailer uh, for Netflix's new uh, Reptile was dropped. It's coming out on the 6th of October. Um, the film follows detective Tom Nichols uh, as he works uh, uh, to uncover the mystery behind a young real estate agent's murder. It's one of those films that you'll watch and you'll be trying to work out Where's this going to go in the end? I'm going to guess this, I'm going to guess that. And um, you, you never get down to solving that mystery. Uh, so Tim Blake actually stars as the victim's unassuming husband, Will Grady, who might not be as innocent as he seems. Uh, uh, he looks amazing. <laughs> I'm, 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 just, I'm just trying to piece together what his nickname might be. Now, anyway, we'll leave that. Something to do with reptiles. Something anyway, with reptiles. Uh, now, should we talk about Mel C? Yeah, yeah, Because there's absolutely. some rumours around that she's on this uh, sort of uh, celebrity dating app called Raya. Raya. Bit okay. of a bougie date. Well, good for her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One year after her split from her ex-boyfriend, Joe Marshall, for it was a seven-year relationship, mm. she was like, look, ready to get out there again. I'm going to jump on Raya and I'm going to try and meet someone. Um, now, Raya is like, it's quite an exclusive app, so should we say. Like, there's 10,000 people, 10,000 members, but only 8% of people get accepted. That's like harder than, that's harder than Oxford and Cambridge. Like that's, oh <laughs> it's literally that they're the sort of stats that are going on with this. That's how they try and make it so exclusive. So you've got to be like super famous or have loads of followers. Or, and is it just so that it, I suppose it's very difficult if you're a Spice Girl? How do you get out there and date normally? You can't. Well, sit on it. Well, I mean, yeah, the, the, that's one option. But I mean, you, you jump on this app, you pay five ninety nine, five ninety nine as well. It's I, quite I, cheap. I don't know. Yeah, it's, people say it's quite cheap, but I mean, for me, Raya. Or just fish and chips. I'd, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I kind of, I'd, I'd much Listen, prefer. We know you're very happily loved. Up yeah, 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 absolutely, Molly, so. absolutely. But good but for Mel C. I say. Good she, for her. she hasn't talked about it. It's just sort of no. like it's out there in the, the papers. The pictures are up there. She seems to be living her best life oh, on it. So it's, it's one of those ones. Yeah. And there were, there were some people before that had success with it as well. Lily Allen and David Harbour. They met on the app. Yeah, Stranger Things. David Harbour. I mean, if he came up on a dating app, you'd probably think like. Oh, is it actually? Is this a catfish? But no, it genuinely was, and yeah, Amazing. they've been in love ever since. I didn't so. know that. Yeah, great um, success. Should we talk about David Beckham? Now, he's been shoe shopping in Nashville, mm -hmm. apparently. This family, that's just such a good looking family. So David Beckham's been out in Nashville. They all went out and they started trying on some, some cowboy boots. They tucked into some barbecue food, but it all went wrong in the shop. He tried on the shoe and he got stuck <laughs> on his face. foot. Yeah, literally. He's just like, you know, when you've committed to something oh, and no. you just immediately regret it. My foot, oh, would, my no. foot would be stuck. Size 12, my toe would get stuck, my size 12 toe. 
Oh, it's that is like that. funny. Poor mm. fella. Uh, now, Taylor Swift has been causing chaos. We were talking about this at the wedding where she'd sort of caused chaos, but this is a different story. Yeah, so this is actually a Taylor Swift lookalike, right? Um, her name's Ashley Leachin from Nashville, Tennessee again. Um, and she went out shopping in LA and fans were absolutely talking about it. It's the, it's the black glasses, it's the hat. It's, it, she's, she's also not making it known. Oh, she really looks like her. Do you think? Yes. I don't know. It's the glasses and the hat for me. She's actually going along with it, though. I wow. feel like, would you do that in the street if somebody... Well, it's her TikTok thing, is it? Is she made... she's yeah, she's got, like, from... one million followers there on you TikTok go. or something like that. So she was just I bet like, there's yeah. Tyler lookalikes out there somewhere. I don't know about that. Yeah. I'm really... And you they wouldn't like them anyway. The original. They'd probably have Crocs on and you would, you would hate them. No, no. Uh, you thank you so much, Tyler. <laughs>